hey guys what's up welcome to this channel it's your boy sammy we are back here to another video again i'm going to be showing you guys how i trade um the four hours time frame okay i hear a lot of folks say that sammy how are you able to trade the four hours time frame and how do you understand what to do when the market comes to and uh, key zones okay i'm going to be showing you all in this video okay i need to stick with me to the end you're going to be gaining value from this video I assure you, you will be getting value from this video and part of the things you're going to be learning is how you can actually what trade the higher time frame using the lower time frame as your what entry zones okay I got an, a message from someone saying that um, how do I trade uh, with the trend line on the four hours and also come to the 30 minutes and the 15 minutes are different trend lines how do I mesh these two three um, uh, time frames together understanding the time and the the uh, the trend line some of the times you might be in four hours the market is bullish but when you go to 30 minutes or uh, 15 minutes or five minutes even the market is showing bearish how do you understand these things so these guys this something called top-down analysis I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm able to understand these tops and trade off of it okay now the best you can do for us is subscribe like and hit the comment section below okay um hit the notification bell also and leave the comment for also go if you find any value in this video okay with that said let's dive right in now the first thing that i like to do is understand market structure guys you cannot outgrow market structure okay you cannot outgrow market structure in the sense that you need to understand what the market is doing okay that is what gives you the urge in the market now for for market structure you can actually identify your market structure using a higher time frame from any particular zone okay from any particular zone but for me i like to identify it in a particular zone that is clear enough now use this one as for example this market is actually bullish using this trend line here so the market coming back down like this i used to take while as a, as a, a new into day trading i used to think that market rotation like this shows the market has turned bearish no it might be showing bearish today in the lower time frame but it actually go back to the trend okay so what i advise is you actually follow what the trend is what it's saying okay now something like this this is the high okay here's the last swing high and so when folks might be like ah let's start selling from this place well you're not wrong but it all depends on what the market is doing Okay, let's get to understand what is doing first. So you see, the market is still bullish. It's still very much bullish. Okay, let's identify from here. Let's identify from here. I think I've seen something clear enough. Okay, we have this. Please take note of this. Okay, take note of this. What happened here? Because I'm going to be coming back to explain explaining what happened so you can trade off it okay so this was the last low so we have a break of structure here let's identify from here we had a break of structure in this zone here we had a break of structure here right so we say bos so as long as we are consigned in this market this was the last swing low so whatever the market comes back down to this zone here we should be looking for opportunity to buy from here because what we are bullish this is a break of structure and this was the last order block if you watch the video i talked the last time you understand that this last order block here is actually respected by price because why this last order block was the one that actually what led to the break of structure to the upside so price is going to be coming back down and one of the ways that i use in identifying it is i zoom closely let's zoom closely and i will show you something here now good now i notice something here you will notice a fair value gap and inefficiency now what inefficiency inefficiency is when you see candlesticks on the chart that are not actually touching each other now these three candles are not touching each other okay now another big secret here is that whenever a price wants to come back down so if okay let's say if price is going to be coming back down to a zone what they do is they will leave what static liquidity now what is static liquidity something like this it's a little bit advanced let me not go deep into it but this is static liquidity meaning this price will be coming back to this favor gap okay what is most important is that you notice this gap here okay so price will be coming back to cover it do something like this and start going back to up to the future now this is where i trade 
this is where I'm going to be trading because why I understand. Now this is a little bit different from the normal video where I talked about. Uh, there's a formula I'm going to be showing. It's called Mer formula. It's actually what I used. Okay, it's actually for beginners. Something that I used that I was able to help me on the long run as a trader. Okay, now see what happened. Price came back to it. Okay price came back to the other block I was telling you about now let's identify we had a break of structure here right we had a break of structure here good so what we do is is this what I do is is this now if I want to trade what I would do is simply this follow me okay follow me follow me closely what I would do is I'll get my trend line I want to trade I'm not trading the big move Okay, I'm going to trade something called counter trend. Okay, it's going to be trend trading strategy. But since I know that the market is going to be going down to that, that zone where I know the market might likely reverse, what I do is I can get in. Yeah, I can get in here. Good. So we have what I wanted. Now, this is it. Now, what I'm going to be doing is this I'm going to be allowing price come and touch this trend line. Since that in respecting trend line, don't forget this actually is going to be leading to a break of structure in the future. Break of structure again. Okay, market is bullish, but this what I'm showing you is counter trend trading. I'm trading kind of like more against the trend. Now, if I want to follow the trend, then I'll be looking for a buy opportunity here. But while I want to be waiting for the trend, this is going to be taking days because it's four hours. Okay, you know, we're taking long before it gets to the zone, but I want to be profitable or I want to make a little bit profit. Why the market? Why are you waiting for the market to come here? So what I do is, I just keep my my um, rectangular line here. I just keep it here, knowing that when the price gets here, it's going to be reversing. So what I do is, I start collecting little little money that comes out of the market, understanding that while I'm waiting for price to get to this zone before reversing. So now this is called a trend trading strategy. So what I do is, is this after having this my trend line here. I will go down to the lower time frame. Let's say I go to 50 minutes. 15 minutes. Now notice I drew the trend line from the four hours, not the 15 minutes. Okay. But I'm going to be using the 15 minutes to get out of the trade each time that I notice that the price wants to reverse. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Now I have my trend line in the four hours. I'm going to be coming down to 15 minutes. To look for potential entries good now we have it no now you can notice that the candles are very much here